without further ado, Matthias, please present your work in the community and, and community engagement, please. Yes, I will. So just to introduce myself slightly, I'm uh, Matthijs Vier from the Netherlands. Uh, I'm on the advisory board of the EHFF, one of the uh, organizations that are um, that doing this. Uh, thank you so much um, that I have a chance to be here and be part of Humanity Rising as well, a little bit then. Um, I have a presentation set up for you just um, looking at me talking isn't the nicest thing to do, so I have some slides. Um, and I do this presentation from uh, my role as a strategic partner for the municipality of Utrecht regarding the health pact Utrecht. So I will share my screen. Um, uh, yeah, you're looking at Utrecht, by the way. So um, uh, the health pact Utrecht came um, to um, or hatched, like Cormac said, in 2019. Um, and it was because of um, uh, the elderman in Utrecht uh, who is uh, by law responsible for the policy in public health, uh, said um, public health and policy is one thing, but there's so much more. So he started a line in the coalition agreement um, where uh, they say uh, we should start a health pack Utrecht where everybody who wants to contribute to health um, gets that possibility. Um, and and that's, that's how we started that just one line in a huge uh, leaflet of how political parties uh, agreed on working together in a beautiful city. Um, and I will take you along this, uh, this uh, uh, story we build up with each other, with citizens, with uh, organizations, with institutions, etc., cetera, um, to give a small view of how we think you could um, yeah, be community up um, and also use top down, by the way. Um, the beautiful city of Utrecht allows us to um, um, uh, see what's happening um, uh, within the different neighborhoods. Um, just to make sure, I don't believe everybody knows Utrecht, so I will give a smart introduction on what Utrecht is or where it is. Um, Utrecht is the fourth largest city in the Netherlands. It's a fast growing city. It's an historical city. Uh, next year, we will be celebrating our 900 year anniversary. Um, currently, there are about 350 to 160,000 inhabitants. Uh, just realize that in the Netherlands, that's a big city. Uh, we will have grown to 400,000 citizens in the year 2024. That means that we will encounter a lot of challenges and also regarding public health. Uh, thinking about these challenges, it's quite uh, remarkable that Utrecht decided uh, almost a decade ago to put healthy urban living for everybody uh, as its main focus. And this, this is visible in, in def many different levels. Um, very recently, our new public health policy was accepted by the city council. And um, in Utrecht, we try to look at health from a positive and broad perspective. Um, that means that we put health in all policies. Uh, we uh, want health equity in all policies. And we work on things as poverty uh, behavior uh, to make the city a healthy city for everybody. Um, uh, and a lot is happening already in Utrecht. So the arrows uh, show that uh, in every single street, in every single neighborhood, um, there's something happening. And um, uh, before COVID, uh, it wasn't really apparent who's doing what. Nobody uh, exactly knew what was happening in the next street. Um, but also organizations had uh, uh, slightly a clue on what's happening on different levels in this city. Um, and the interesting part is that we as connectors, the group that started the Coalition of the Willing, are just connecting those initial arrows. Um, we are building a network, a network of professionals, a network of initiatives, um, uh, and we try to come together to inspire each other, but also to, um, to attack wicked and complex problems. Um, and we have uh, minor guiding principles, and that's um, uh, why, why guiding principles? But because that's, that's um, giving us a slight direction of where we want to go. But the interesting part is that um, the, more, um, the more criteria you have, the more principles you have, the higher the barrier of joining will be. 
and especially for the inhabitants of Utrecht, the Utrechters themselves, who we highly uh, want to invite to join uh, this network and are joining the network. So the guiding principles is that it is a dynamic network. It's, it's like a, an organic network that moves in and out. If you are in, you're not in for life, you can move out again. Everybody can contribute. So not only organizations or people that uh, are working in and around healthcare, but um, if you can help your neighbor or if you can help uh, somebody in your street or you become a collective and help other people, um, uh, you can join. Uh, it should be fun and that sounds odd to some of you, but um, uh, working on health, working on happiness, uh, uh, working uh, on, on inclusivity, um, that, that, that can be fun and should be fun. And it's based on the coalition of the willing. So, uh, of course, there are also restrictions. I think uh, Cormac Russell uh, said a lot about it, that uh, we have to move forward. And the coalition of the willing are the people that put their shoulders under these huge tasks. And within the network, we share uh, inspiration. We try to help each other. We collaborate. We co-create. Uh, we uh, attack the wicked problems on a local level, and everybody can contribute. So the more perspectives there are on a certain um, question or problem, um, the, 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 interesting, uh, the more interesting it will become. Um, this is, we, we try to depict our, our network. And I think the swarm of the flock of birds, the swarm of birds, the flock of birds depicts our network, I think the best. And it also is based on simple rules because this flock is based on uh, don't bump into each other. Don't get too far away from each other or off the center of the flock and fly in a parallel direction, follow your neighbors. And everybody knows that a flock of birds can have the most amazing shapes and forms. And also uh, it seems organized. So with only a little amount of organization, um, huge uh, uh, intricate forms and shapes are, um, uh, are realized. And, and that's, that's how we work as a network. Um, and based on um, uh, what Sabinia said also, Health is everywhere. Everything is health. And that's, that's a movement in the Netherlands that's much bigger than, than the city of Utrecht. But the fact that um, uh, almost everything we encounter in day-to-day -day life has an effect on our health and our happiness. And that means that we have a very broad sense on what are the influences of health. So in this network, it's not just people from health and welfare and, uh, and the curative sector, but it's like people from uh, nature movements, people from an art background, people from all kinds of different backgrounds that have an effect on health are part of this network and make sure that we have like a, uh, a real uh, vast creative view on uh, what's possible in, a, in, in the light of a certain task or problem. Um, and, it's, and it's about pioneering and, and pioneering is um, uh, um, I think everybody knows what pioneering is, but sometimes it's um, 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 uh, people talk, but it, it's not about innovation, but this isn't about innovation. This is about doing stuff for the first time on a certain task or problem. So the, the, the way this Utrecht city is working with everybody as a partner of the city. So it's not the top down, but they are um, being a real community partner and try to find ways of interacting with each other on, an, on a constant level. So not about participation in policy, but how can we participate in local solutions, in solutions in the neighborhood, in, in initiatives that need help in the neighborhood. Um, so we did a Healthy Ideas for Idea Festival. Now Healthy Idea Festival were 15 real practical problems that uh, went on the stage and people from all kinds of backgrounds, 150 people from Utrecht, Almost everybody came from Utrecht, so has a special connection with Utrecht, uh, tried to work on different solutions. So there were people from a cultural background, from arts, that said normally we would go to a cultural festival, we see people from the same domain, uh, from the same sectors. And now we are here connected to people that come from so many different backgrounds that it's interesting in how we missed solutions in, um, in the past, but we are now working positively forward and try to find all kinds of new ways of 
uh, of working together to, uh, to find solutions. Um, so in that way, we are pioneering um, and we are becoming a dynamic network. So we ask people to join us and, and sign a pledge. It's, uh, it's a diverse group of people um, and, and we um, made sure that we sign this pledge, not so much to be hold in the air like I do with my colleague here, but make sure that everybody feels that they are equal. So on uh, way of the left, the picture, there's the elderman and he signed as a partner in the network. So it's not a network to come to solutions for governmental problems. It's, it's we are part of each other. We are part of this network. We, uh, we, um, we have to do this together. And Amina, the woman standing next to him, said we doing this together or we won't do this at all. So um, it's quite amazing how this got and gives people energy. Um, so besides doing pledges, doing amazing work in neighborhoods, we're offering a stage and dialogue. So in times of Corona, um, uh, all kinds of networks popped up that were um, really connected to that local um, level neighborhood initiatives and we started conversations conversations on uh, vaccination conversations on staying staying sane staying, staying mental mentally healthy uh, during the corona crisis and these dialogues are open for everybody so it's a chance for people from the community but also from people from institutions from local government to join and talk together on a certain topic not from your expertise but from being a human being uh, another thing we did is the Healthy Empowerment Symposium, where a lot of the other panelists were part of. And uh, the interesting thing there was that we all know this uh, central institutions uh, in Europe, it's in Brussels. And I think all over the world, you have the, the central institutions that are comprised of all kinds of bigger organizations. And how interesting it was to invite them to Utrecht and to be connected to those local initiatives. So, so have a vertical connection um, between all kinds of, uh, of initiatives and seeing actually what's happening on a local level. Um, and we, of course, tried to do this on a very creative way. We had a caravan with all kinds of stickers that allowed people to talk freely about uh, what their achievements was. We had um, uh, healthy brokers sitting on the right. Um, this is where we do it for. So this is my background picture, but this is also the picture I want to close off my presentation with because um, this is how Utrecht uh, is remembered by Utrecht as before the COVID and uh, what happened during COVID could be stated as it's really bad but it's also um, uh, we are very thankful for what we had and we hope to get that back sometimes and, and do that together as a community uh, with all kinds of organizations that contribute to that. Um, this was my presentation on the Utrecht Health Pack. I can talk about it a lot more and um, uh, I can ask your questions or answer your questions uh, on a later stage. So thank you so much.